I'm protecting Rami okay. and Egyptian people because they told me in Kuwait, and this I never asked for that, I never mentioned that until in one interview, that our, our people from Kuwait here are just taxi drivers. They just... Um, people in Kuwait are taxi drivers? That's what they say, and drivers for people oh, with Egyptians, money. Egyptians, you mean? The Egyptians, I'm oh, sorry. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's, what, that's what this group of people... Uh, they were speaking bad about Egyptian people from the first day I come to Kuwait. They basically taught me, they taught me that Egyptians are only liars. In the Arab world, everybody knows Egyptian people are liars. That's what they tell me. I said, how is that possible? You know? And I know, for, and this is what they told me. I mean, this particular person told me that in my face. And had a driver was Egyptian. And that driver took care of me every day, drove me. I like this person. I've never been to Egypt in my life. I want to go to Egypt very, very bad. Why would I speak bad about Egyptian? I only, in protecting Egyptians, I said, why these people jump and believe people that speak bad about Egyptians? Because they told me that taxi drivers or drivers, liars, you know what I mean? Hmm. <clears throat> and I get a lot of emails, not emails, messages on Facebook where Egyptian people say, oh, you speak bad about Rami, you call him a fisherman. Yeah, I was going to ask you about that. Yeah. that uh, after you split with Rami in training and the advertising, I never, thing, you not, called him that because he left, left you, so you start to be like insulting him and say that he's a fisherman. And I say, never insult. No, how, how, see, how I, ne treat him? I never insulted him. I said the same thing I've been saying since I know him. He said, look at him going from a fisherman to one of the best bodybuilders in the world. Yeah. Where, where's the insult? No, no, no. He actually, was a fisherman, it, 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 am I yeah, correct? It, it, was, it was fact. Yeah. And Rami was like... So uh, why, would I, we, why would I insult him we, if I say he used to be a fisherman? Yeah, yeah. And That's Rami, not an insult. Rami, even I, I want to profit too for the people who's watching. Rami was in Egypt like a week ago and he already, when he visit his city, he take a picture next big boat and because he's a fisherman. This is the truth. And what's wrong with being a fisherman? No, I nothing, only said... But, I, but no. they, they make it like you are yeah. insulting him. Yeah, you know? I'm not insulting anybody. I'm just basically speaking up for Rami when I say uh, about why did he, why is he not... Do, people ask me, can he win the Olympia? I said, absolutely yes. I said, why do you think he is not coming into condition you know, that he needs to be? Every year he's, the condition is not 100, he's big. I said, listen, Understand, he used to be a fisherman, and in, in three, four years, he's one of the best bodybuilders in the world. Give this man a chance to adjust yeah. to a different lifestyle. Yeah. Everything is going very fast for him, and that's why I said, he's going from a fisherman for making a little bit of money yeah. to all of a sudden being the most talked about bodybuilder on the planet yeah. for making more money. This doesn't go in easy. You can't just, you know, adjust from this to that. You have to slow. It's slow. You have to be slow. And everybody tried to push him to do everything very fast. Yeah, you got to be Mr. Olympia. Yeah. He will be Mr. Olympia, but he's got to take his time. He's young. Even even he's not working with you, you're still saying that he can be Mr. Olympia. I still believe that he is... The future. The future of the sport. If he nails it, if he nails it, he will be unbeatable until he... Uh, do you think he can push... I think, oh, I think he can, if he, he imagine if he would be in 100% condition. Yeah, for sure. I don't think anybody can even be close. Yeah. It would be a no, no contest. Did you see one in, on the stage like Rami before? No, and I said it how many years now? Yeah. I said he is one out of one billion people. Yeah. To have another Rami is probably going to take another 30 years before we have somebody like him come again. All my questions about Rami right now, it's not about, we are not talking about Rami as a, mm. as a sportman, but we are like, I'm trying to prove for the people right now that uh, Dennis, even when he split with, with Rami, he still love him. He's still wishing for him. Like I, the, told, the, the, I told like Rami, Allah. I told Rami in the very beginning, because Rami, you know, Rami is, how can I explain? Rami is a person he doesn't like to hurt people. Yes, so much. Okay. He's very kind. And yeah. I know because when we work together, and he, Rami knows, I've never done anything like this for another man. Yeah. And we took care of him like a baby. And he's not a baby. We call him the big baby in my yeah. house. Yeah. We took care of him because I know it's all, it's a lot. It's a lot to do for somebody that's not used to it. He's used to sitting in the gym six, ten hours a day and basically just talking to people. All of a sudden, you gotta do photo shoots, you gotta do this, you gotta train, you gotta look good, people expect you to win. This is a lot it's of pressure. Yeah. I, take the, I try to take this pressure away from him because I've been doing this for 23 years. Yeah. So I help him to take this pressure away from him. 
So he can focus only on what he has to do on a daily basis. So he doesn't want to hurt people. So when he's not happy with his condition, you know, you have the right to change or you go to a different uh, a trainer. Yeah. We don't have a contract. And I told him, I said, Rami, because I hear from other people that he wasn't happy with his condition. He's not, he never said he's not happy with me because I don't think you will find another man that will do as much as I did for one person. And I'm not saying that I did this because, you know, I had to do it. This is, I did because I felt he needs to learn the right way. And, and I believe right now, Rami's at this point where he thinks, he thinks, I think he's very happy that I was there in times when nobody knew what to do. Can you, can you take somebody else and put him in the same spot like Rami? Yes. But he, I don't know if I find somebody with the same body. Yeah. But can I hype and can promote? Yeah, this is what I do. I can do it. Yeah. And this is why this is what I did for Rami. And this is what they wanted me to do for Rami yeah, too. Yeah. Actually, yeah. That, that's what they wanted me to do. So, because the the stuff that it was happening and saying too that uh, you like come as a promoter and suddenly mm. you spot yourself as a trainer. So and it, it wasn't like that. They were training Rami for a long time and you just come steal it from them. Is it true or no? That's not true. I didn't steal anybody. You know what I mean? Let me tell you something. Tell me. These guys act like gurus. I mean, I don't even talk about these guys because all the chihuahuas around him, they don't even know anything. Okay. And he didn't know nothing either because I've been helping this guy with his athletes for a long, for many, many, many years. When they in shows, they call me and ask me how many diuretics, how much this, how much of that. I do this in the background. I never told anybody. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure he never told anybody either. He probably told everybody this is me. Uh -huh. He wants to be the guru. How are you going to be a guru? You have shisha places and gyms. You're not a guru. Just do what you do best. Don't do what you don't know. Yeah. You know what I mean? And if you learn, if you, if you learn from some, everybody can learn. And if you learn from somebody, at least acknowledge that somebody taught you. Yeah, for sure. I can't say, I'm not going to sit here and say everything I know is because I taught myself. I've learned from others. Yeah, for sure. I worked with trainers. I worked with Charles Glass. I've learned from these people. I would never sit here and talk bad about these people. They taught me. They basically helped me where I am today. I mean, you got to be where you're at because you, 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 you take care of business. But I would never burn these people because they helped me. You want to tell me that he learned it from what? From, uh, from, you know, it doesn't fall from the sky, the information. So how, how suddenly, 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 Kuwait jumped to be number one in bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. how, did, how did this happen? Think about it. All the knowledge we brought to Kuwait. The knowledge. Yeah. Since I, go, I went there, you know how many pros I brought to Kuwait? And every pro has a different knowledge. Yeah. So you take all the knowledge. They learn. That's why he brought these guys over. We came over to teach. We basically taught these people. So you regret if we would teach the people? No, I don't regret anything because the people were nice. And now I can see that what we taught them helps. Yeah. Look at look at them today. Yeah, yeah. They are this cool. doesn't come because he all of a sudden re reading the internet how to get big. Yeah. This come from bringing us over. Yeah. He's learned from us. So acknowledge, just acknowledge. Did you he, did he pay for that? Of course, yes. He paid everybody we brought over. He paid. Of course, these guys. This is their business. Yeah. But it's not the, the kind of money that these people think. When he brought me over. I stayed for one month for five thousand dollars. What was that? Yeah. So people, the way he puts me in, in the limelight, he must have, he should have paid me a hundred thousand a month. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. it wasn't even close. Yeah. So and I did a lot of things when he said he brought me. I wanted to come to Kuwait to train Rami, and it wasn't that wasn't true either. He said that on an interview. It's it's not true because he wanted me to bring Flex Magazine over there to promote his gym. He is all about promotion of his gym. He doesn't care about the members too much. Do you think, do you think this is like good thing? Well, maybe he cares for the members because he brings the pros over. This is yeah. for the members. Yeah. Yeah. But it's for him, it's all about promoting oxygen. It's not about anything else. Is it, is it good or bad? To no, like, no, it's his business. Yeah, he's I would never that. say anything about him being a bad businessman. Yeah. This is your business. Yeah. You're successful. More power to you. Yeah. I wouldn't talk bad about you. I'm not going to sit here and you say... You never say that oxygen is bad, Jim? No, yeah. no. I still say oxygen, Jim, is fucking awesome. There's yeah. nothing you can say about it. Yeah. I'm a man. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't pull I don't pull nuts out of my ass okay. and come up with a bullshit lie to make you believe somebody's bad when he's not.